Welcome back to the great and wonderful outdoors, everybody. I'm here, solo trip, on my way to visit some family for Christmas. And I'm stopping off at deer camp, trying to harvest one. Get one for the fam. If you watched the last video, you already know, bad luck has been upon us. I just talked to the landowner, this is a big update, and he said that uh, basically the whole entire county has been saying what I'm saying. Like, where are the big bucks? There are more does this season than I've ever seen. That That is different. So, love to pop one of those little <laughs> sneezers out there. Now, I just went and I checked the camera card out of the camera that we set up yesterday evening. There was a few does on it last night. Of course, the pigs came in. But this morning, there were three bucks. Two of them were just good young bucks. Not bucks that I would want to shoot. Little eight points. Uh, one's going to be a really, really nice deer. Uh, but there is one that he's missing his brow tines. He's, uh, he's a little five pointer, basically young guy, probably two and a half years old, but he's just, he's growing no brow tines. He'd be a cold buck to take and then does. So five deer at a spot that has, to my knowledge, not been hunted. The thicker part of the woods is in front of me. Got a north wind and they wouldn't have to come past me into my wind like this morning. I like it for that, but I just know how skittish these deer are right now. And if they see a blind that's never been there before, they're probably going to be sketched out. I don't know what to do. I really would like to get a deer with a bow, but I know how difficult it is going to be for me. You know, a tr anything I get with a bow is, is a trophy. It just feels amazing. Um, you know, shooting a, a little call buck with the rifle, it's great. Got meat for the freezer, but... Um, it just, you know, it's not as a, a big of an accomplishment that I'm going to feel good about going into the holidays. So <sighs> let me know what you would do in the comments. And this is the quandary of deer hunting. I swear, it's like bass and crappie. I go and see, oh my gosh, crappie are here. Oh, bass are here too. What do I do? What do you do? What's more, what's more fun at the moment? Right now, I'm still leaning towards going with a bow and setting up a pop-up where I saw the bucks on the camera and also setting up one of these green lights to get some hogs after dark. I'm having trouble finding a spot to put the blind. There's not a good spot. I'm thinking about just going right on the edge of this tree. I still have back cover and hopefully they won't see the depth of it. It's either that or I come all the way out here to 40 yards and set up in this cedar right here. And even then, we still don't have a great shot. That's a far bow shot. It is 310 and it's about time to head out, y'all. I'm going to the bow blind blind that I just set up. I mean, how could I not? I spent all that time working on the hog light and the blind. And so I, th I feel like we'll at least get a chance at a hog. Uh, and I hope that light has gotten enough solar energy to, to turn on. That'd be another thing that just wouldn't work, but stay positive. And we got the opportunity on a doe or hopefully this coal buck comes in. Hopefully the giant of Central Texas comes in, but you know, we're keeping expectations pretty real. I did manage to find a shed when I was looking for brush to cover up the blind, and I, I did a pretty good job covering it in. It's just gonna be something new, something new they haven't seen before. They're gonna feel a little off. I just, I just know it. Oh, good Lord. May there be deer movement tonight. Please give us an acceptable deer to walk 20 yards my little corn pile. And if not, we will accept the bacon just as well. Hey man, let's get done. Yesterday I saw a deer here at four o'clock on the camera and 
It's 3.50, so we might see some action soon.
Well, y'all, you know, it's uh, 6.20. Have not heard a snort. So I don't think the pigs are going to come in until I leave. It's like the, the animals, they just know. They just know, don't they? And I think it's just next to impossible to get a deer with a bow out here right now. I swear I saw something tonight that I've never seen before. The, that little spike, he kept wanting to come in. And he'd get a little sketched out and he'd go away. And right there, right before dark, I saw a bigger buck back there that like, like nudged him, like, go back out there, like you're gonna be the, the fall guy, okay? It was so strange, but I swear there was a bigger buck that was like pushing him to go back out there, even though he didn't want to. He like held his head down. He's like, okay. I'd say it's over for me with this blind and the, and the bow stuff, guys. It's gonna get freezing cold tonight. I'm just gonna grab my rifle and I'm gonna go sit somewhere. Even that is gonna be a challenge, quite honestly. Just the way these deer are acting, but. <sighs> Such is the hunt. Such is the quest to get the animal with the bow. All right, guys. I'm gonna sign it off for tonight, and I'll see you in the morning. So it's just now starting to get cold. I woke up this morning. It was probably, you know, mid-30s. But now this cold front is coming in. I don't know if you guys can see this. There's this difference in clouds out here. You can, there it is. That front is coming in and you can feel the crisp air. I've gone back to the same spot I was last night, but I'm sitting in the box and I've covered up the windows with basically everything that I have in my pack and I've got the rifle sitting right here so 308 is out and ready but I think this is going to be one of those days to sit all day unfortunately I've got to leave here in a little while but I'm hoping that this cold air that I feel right now coming in is going to motivate some deer to get up <laughs> Just all chilling together. They're calm. I have 
some sort of crazy deer should step out. my friends is the ball game I wish I had a hot thermos with coffee in it and a flask of bourbon a sandwich or two and all day to hunt today because the conditions are just crazy these deer are gonna be there on their feet for a long time I, I can't believe that we didn't see the call buck that I wanted to see the one I had no brow ties little five point you know that peaked around last night we got to see him but he just never would come in. I thought he would come in with the other bucks, and he didn't. Of course, we had that A point, but from a long-term management standpoint, right now, as I've seen uh, the season unfold, there's not a whole lot of just, you know, average, decent A points like that, like three and a half, four and a half years old. And a couple years ago, out here, I would have said, yeah, yeah, just that's a call. Like, shoot that one, that's a call. And now it's like, I'm looking for any scraggler that I can, and I, I want to let those bucks that are going to be good eight-point bucks when they're fully mature, just let them let them go and let them grow. And you guys let me know in the comments how you feel about hunting does late season. Like, some of them have definitely been bred, but you don't know which ones. And you don't know which does are dropping big bucks or, or what. You have no idea to tell. So what is your opinion? What is your stance? on taking does late season. Signing off from the field. I am Lake Fort Guy. Thank you for being with me on this tumultuous bad luck journey of deer hunting, which I'm sure a lot of you can actually relate to. I say it's really bad luck, but it's just, it's just hunting <laughs> in general. And I love being out here and doing it, guys. So go enjoy your time in the great outdoors. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas. May God bless you and your families. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you.